Well, I've heard the craziest rumor that our machine is good for only the little shops. Well, let me tell you, although we do produce using a counterintuitive single piece flow method, it is the fastest way to do anything. And even the big shops now are starting to see it. I don't think anyone could tell me that this factory qualifies as a small shop, 150,000 square feet. Do we ever have an exciting install today? So we've got a Cosmo going in. They already have the ultimate edge sander. And the exciting part about this is what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create, because they have a CNC right here cutting their panels, we're gonna create a one person cell that's gonna be able to cut, sand the panels, and sand the edges all with any luck in the same cycle time as the CNC. So this is gonna be a super, super fun week of connecting processes and making some pretty awesome doors. My favorite site, Cosmo is sanding away and we've got a really cool cell coming together here. We've got the uh, hand sanding, the robot sanding, the edge sanding, all connected right to the CNC. It's coming along. First pile of doors in record time. We did it. Um, this is so awesome. We'll, we'll show some better footage of it, but we've got the sander robot inspection and hand sand portion all connected in one cell. Um, and you know, for anyone shopping for automation or looking at machines, you gotta be very cognizant of the, the, the machine, like the robot. This is only like 50% of the equation. If, if you don't have the system set up right, you don't have the timing right, you don't know how to subordinate activity to a bottleneck, you're, you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot, you're, you're losing a lot of throughput. So we'll do our best to explain all of that in this video. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, this is amazing. Something just happened that we wanna capture. And this is why single piece flow is so important. Um, we, we can't stress it enough. I mean, I, let me just show you, hang on, I gotta flip. So we're doing our hand sanding on this bench, followed by the robot sanding there. And then the part everybody skips is the inspection. We want to make sure we're inspecting so every door comes out perfect. Now, as we're operating, we saw this door and let me get it in the light. You can just see some cross scratches there. And we thought, whoa, let's stop right here and go back and fix this door. So now we're not five doors in before we find a defect. All we're going to do is run it back through the robot cell and carry on. And this is the superpower of single piece flow. You're catching your defects the minute they happen, fixing them and carrying on. It's beautiful. So I'm standing here with the new owner of Cosmo. This is Kai. He's the best. And he just was pointed out to me, he's like, that scratch on the door, if that got through, the finishers now have to stop. They have to fix it. It's a, it's a $100 mistake. So we caught it right here at the source. Amazing. Next thing you see, the SCN went off with this. <laughs> exactly. So now we take that, and we just take that door that had the defect, we pop it back on, we're gonna run that one side again, and zero defects leave this sanding cell. Zero. Finisher's gonna love this. Cell. No one can believe how fast doors are leaving this cell, and the best part is we know they're perfect. Here's another question we get all the time is, can you do drawer front? Textbook perfect. We have one part going through the edge sander, one part in staging waiting for the robot, one part on the robot. When that one goes over to inspection and then to the finished file, that one moves on to the robot, the one in the edge sander moves on to the bench. It's like watching a symphony. This is so fun. We're on day two and Ka, who's, this is old hat for him now, he's actually doing the most technical setup on the edges, totally unsupervised. So what we've done here for the benefit of all of our viewers is we've just playing this in supersonic speed so you can see how single piece flow 
affects the manufacture of these cabinet doors. One of my favorite sayings is, you have to watch the baton, not the runner. So although the operator seems to be moving around all over the place, you can watch how fast the parts are actually flowing through the cell into the finished pile. It's quite remarkable, and as you can see a few people in the background, no, no one can believe it. Um, so it is a very counterintuitive principle, but once you get it figured out, it's about 50% faster than traditional batch manufacturing. So this is really what separates us in the industry and makes us different is that we work with customers to set up a system. We're not just selling you a machine and saying, okay, good luck, you know, once you've got it installed. We really wanna work with you because we understand the whole value stream from start to finish and we develop that system with you to maximize the throughput. In this case, even a small batch of even five would totally railroad this whole process. Imagine if you had to sand five pieces through the edge sander first, and then you'd have five pieces stacked up on the hand sanding table, and then five pieces on the robot, and then five pieces into your inspection. The, it would be impossible for the operator to do a quality job. Well, there you have it, another company saved from the perils of hand sanding. If you've got a sanding bottleneck, whether it's in your raw sanding department or your finishing room, let us help you develop a sanding system tailored to you that's going to solve that problem. We're at the day and age now where I think it's just time. Hand sanding's got to go. We'll see you all soon. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or my team at info at stolbeck.ca. I almost forgot, I've included a little clip and it's it super sped up on single piece flow just after I'm done talking right now. You can see what happens even with a small batch of five or 10 in this demo. You know, it's great if you trust me, I appreciate that when I tell you that single piece flow is the fastest way to build something, but trust is even better when there's numbers to back it up. So if you're interested, let the video play for another uh, 30 seconds and you'll see single piece flow in action versus a batch of five or 10. So I'll let you be the judge of how many parts you want to produce at once. Okay, here we go. So watch along the bottom. That is parts traveling in a single piece flow fashion and we're timing how long it takes to make 10 pieces. And then you just move up one level to a batch of five and you can see how detrimental even five pieces is, let alone the top row where they're producing 10. It's a total nightmare. So if you're batch producing, you're looking for some pretty significant savings when you switch over to a single piece flow model.